Hey guys, how's it going? Static here, and uh, figured since I uploaded my 3000 subscriber special on our usual LP day, I thought I'd give you guys another LP today. Um, figure that's only fair. And a lot of people have been bugging me to uh, fi finish the, um, the mob system. Now, gotta keep in mind, guys, this thing's gonna be a work in progress. It's almost never gonna be, you know, completely finished because. You know, Minecraft has been said that it's going to be a uh, a work in progress, never going to be completely finished. So, I'm going to have to be continually adapting this thing. Um, <clears throat> that being said, though, I do want to get it into working order. Um, and so, I thought we'd get working on that today. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this uh, junk on the side here that we don't need anymore. Which try and do that as quickly as I possibly can. Just uh, just so we can see what we're working with, because it's... I mean, as, as good as the glass looks, it makes it pretty confusing um, you know, when, when you're looking at a complex thing like a mob system, so... I want to make it as simplified as I possibly can. And there. Uh, get rid of this stone on the top as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with the um, tall mobs at the moment. I know in some at some point I'll have um, a killing system and um, you know, another system where I can sort of cart them off and do experiments and stuff. But I think for now... I should probably grab this sign as well. Um, for now, I think we might just get the... Um, the killing mechanism hooked up. Just, uh, yeah, so we can start getting some TNT and do some more interesting stuff. Okay, so I think I'm going to raise, raise this up one more. Um, I do have a plan for the, uh, the killing mechanism. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm not just um, flying by the seat of my pants with this one. Now, my plan is, um, I've sort of been brainstorming for a little while, and um, all the other options that I was thinking of didn't quite work. Um, I want to try and make this one without lava. Um, and so what I'm planning for this is, if I'll just quickly finish this. Alright, so... Basically what's going to happen is, um, I'm going to remove those two lava blocks in a moment, and I'm going to uh, fill this entire tube up with water up to this level here. And then at this point here, I'm going to put a one water source block here, and this is going to form a diagonal stream, pushing the mobs over to this way. Um, now what I'm going to do after that is, I'm going to have them drop out of this tube, and around about here I think, I'm going to put a... Uh, a water source block and this is going to flow flow down um, and then I'll have it flow out to a pressure plate about here and this whole front part here is going to be sealed in so basically what's going to happen is the mobs are going to flow up here they get pushed across to the side here and then out through here they fall down into this water block here and because of the downward current they'll be uh, held down and they'll drown so that's the game plan uh, so, let's hope it works. So, the first thing I want to do um, is... Uh, where am I going to do this? Put some ladders there so I can get back up. And we'll make an infinite water stream as well. Just uh, I know we've got one on the other side as well, but... Um, you know, with only two buckets, it's going to be pretty time-consuming walking from one side of the mob system to the other continuously, so... I actually need to get rid of those at the moment, because we need to remove this lava. Okay, now can we reach that from here? Just wait for this skeleton to die. Karma, buddy. Alright. <clears throat> now, save this lava for later, I think. There we go. 
Okay, it's going to be a bit of a pain doing this on hard difficulty, I think. But, you know, I did promise, so hopefully I can manage. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Starting to wish I didn't get rid of that lava. That was easy. Oh, that's... <laughs> just gets worse and worse. Oh, okay, I need food before I... before I cark it. <clears throat> I don't even know if I've got any food in my house, so I might have to quickly whip up some mushroom stew. Now, I think um, in the near future, uh, when pistons come out, I'm going to whip up a. Um, oops. I'm going to whip up a uh, little circuit down in the uh, in the mob system, which is basically going to um, have pistons hiding uh, glowstone blocks. Um, and you know, when you flip a switch or whatever, the the glowstone blocks are going to be revealed. So basically we're going to use that as like a a turn off mechanism for the the mobs. So which I think for jobs like this would come in really handy. Okay. Wait for the spider to come up. I think I'm actually going to have to get down into the tube to do this at least for one of the layers. Unless maybe I can Actually, I hate breaking glass, but this is going to be the easier way to do it, I think. Alright, yeah, that works. Alright, I'm going to do a quick cut here, guys. Um, and when we come back, I'll have this tube filled in. Okay, so that tube's fully filled in now, and we're just going to put in the finishing touches up here. So let's just uh, think through this, so the mobs float over this way, yep. Um, going to need a roof, of course. Okay. And so they're pushed. Um... Okay, so they're pushed over this way, and then they're going to drop out of there. That, oops, that was not what I meant to do, obviously. And they're going to drop into one, two, three, so a stream about here. pressure plate. Creeper check. And I'll just use dirt for now. I'll replace that with a half slab at some point. Three, so water stream there. Okay, I get it. Um, Just like that. Now I want to go get some dirt as well and fill in this crater really quickly. 
and probably have a bit of a sleep so we can work on stuff without being interfered with by those zombies over there. Okay. Go a bit of dirt. May as well replace those half slabs now. Save me having to do it later. Sounds like we've got a zombie coming up as well, which is good. We can um, have a quick test, make sure this works the way we want it to. Perfect. And the good thing as well is that um, this uh, this particular system is going to be able to handle you know, as many mobs as we throw at it, basically, because um, for those of you who don't know, if a mob uh, vertically combines with a or goes, goes to the same block as another mob vertically, so whether they float up or fall down, they are able to, um, as you can see, share the same blocks. So, um, essentially, oh, theoretically, we could fit, you know, over 100 mobs in those two blocks there, so. And um, same with the spider system here. I had um, someone send me a video response of a system they made. It was almost exactly the same as this one here. The only difference was that the spider drowning chamber here went all the way up to the uh, the sky level, just so that um, you know the spiders didn't clog up the system. But um, by having this uh, little float up section here, um, as the zombies did there, they'll the spiders will combine in this chamber there, and I can have as many of them in there as I possibly need. So. Yeah, just for those of you who uh, weren't aware of that. Alright, uh, and being OCD, I'm going to um, extend this stream out as well. Okay. I think that looks good. So we've got our tall mob drops here and our spider drops here. Now that that's done, um... I was serious in the last episode, guys, uh, in, in the 3,000 subscriber special, when I said that um, I wanted to get started on our house, or our base. Um, so I think we might start getting uh, into the planning for that. Now, as most of you will probably know, um, I absolutely suck at architecture. I mean, um, yeah, the, the temple, a lot of people seem to have liked the design of that, but I can guarantee that was an absolute fluke um, and yeah so my, my lack in architecture abilities is part of the reason why I've been putting off uh, building our base but I figure we may as well actually get started on it now and uh, we'll just see what happens now I like to use smooth stones so we're gonna get a bunch of that going we've got a little bit at the moment but that's nowhere near enough to build uh, our base so I uh, don't know how much... Yeah, we don't have much coal. Um, but we'll see what we can get going with that. See how much of the stuff we can make. Uh, take out that. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have plenty, I think. And I'm thinking that while this stuff is smelting, while we're waiting for that to be ready, uh, we might start uh, planning the, the actual structure and terraforming a little bit. So, my basic idea for the base, guys, is um, this is going to be the entry to our, our little area over here. So, um, I'm probably going to do like a path through here or something and big like a stone stone wall and gate and stuff um, and then you'll come through here and 
there'll be a path like leading up to the door of the house and then once you come in through first thing you're going to see is the mob mob aquarium here um, and so at the moment it's not really much of a mob aquarium as um, you know I haven't lit up many caves and stuff so the, the uh, efficiency is not that good but after a while you'll just see constant mobs floating up which is going to be a really cool centerpiece I think um, so I think that's basically what we want to do. We want to start by making it so that that thing's visible. Now I want the ground level of the house to be um, on the same level as these pressure plates here. So we'll dig through this hill at that level. Okay, now the thing is though, um, that I want the, uh, like when we come through the front door, I want the mob evader to be far enough, or the, the mob aquarium to be far enough away that it looks you know, kind of cool, so about this distance. But I don't want the start of the house um, to, how do I explain this? Um, I basically want, you know, uh, some you know gardens and stuff around here. I don't want the outside to seem too claustrophobic, um, so I need to get it sort of a good balance between you know, being close enough to the the mob aquarium but far enough away. Um, and I'm thinking maybe here. Do we have? I've got a little bit of wood. Okay, so I'm thinking I have uh, not that. Uh, double doors here. And I need to go sleep again. And I'll check on our smooth stone while we're here as well. So we can start getting, uh, get started building the structure. Okay, so my basic plan, guys, um, for the this ground level area, um, basically I want to do as little you know, above ground architecture as I possibly can, because as I've mentioned several times, I absolutely suck at it. Um, most of the uh, the main areas of our base are going to be underground, but what I want in this top area um, is we'll have our our storage room off to the left, I think. Um, and so that'll be the storage room that Garus challenged me to build, um, the one primarily made out of um, storage minecarts. Um, and then on the right here we've got our little uh, collection area, and somewhere up the top I also want to have a couple of little areas where um, if I ever have to do like talking episodes, um, so, you know, like talking about a competition or something like that. I want to have like cool little areas where I can sort of sit there and just talk to you guys. So like a library, um, land room, that kind of thing. So that's my plan for the top area. Uh, but I need a little bit of wood just so we can get this other door going and help us plan it out a little bit. But yeah, we're going to have a, um, a lot of little areas underground uh, between here and the, the mob system. Um, I think we're going to probably make a laboratory, so um, basically a big open area where uh, I can mess around with redstone circuits. I can, um, If I want to get mobs down there, I'll be able to uh, call down specific mobs, so we'll have to do some mob sorting up the top as well at some point, I think. 
Um, but yeah, that's um, I'm told that's quite a pain in the ass. So we'll see about that. I think. Um, and yeah, we'll have like an eats road and all kinds of stuff down there. But okay, so yeah, that lines up. So these will be our doors in here, and you'll come in. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Okay. So I think this is going to be the start of the floor on this level. Uh, but I'm going to have a, a sunken floor into like a, a lounge area, I think, where, where we'll be able to view the mob aquarium. <clears throat> Alright, just going to quickly check on time, guys, see how we're doing. Alright, so unfortunately, guys, we are out of time. Um, so we're not going to be able to get started on the... the uh, the house today, um, but we'll. I think we'll do that probably first thing uh, on the next episode, unless of course you guys want me to do something else, um, like a couple of people want me to go spelunking, which uh, might be a good idea. We do need some um, some more resources, so let me know in the comments what you'd like to do in the next episode. Uh, if I don't get any any feedback, guys, we will be um, working on the house. Now, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching. Um, now, be sure to let me know what you thought uh, down in the comments. And also, guys, I want to thank everyone who's gone over to my other channel, Static Gaming HD, or Static Games HD, sorry, and um, subscribed there. Uh, I just uploaded the first video, and I'm in the process of uploading the second one right now as we speak. Um, and already the channel has almost 100 subscribers. So that's just incredible, guys. You guys absolutely rock. Keep it up. If you haven't subscribed to that channel yet, guys, um, there's an annotation up now linking to that channel. So head on over, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Other than that, uh, as I've said, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.